I've been waiting a really long time to show you this, my friends. It's a fanny bag, but not just an ordinary one. It was made and designed by a local designer who made these bags in a limited edition of only 50 pieces. You know, it made me think this designer isn't making these bags for the mass. He rather creates a premium quality product in small numbers and price it higher than average. He doesn't aim to please everyone, but rather create value for the people who really care. And that led me to create my first NFT collection of digital funny bags. First off, I started with creating the 3D model in Blender. First, we have a big plane that's gonna be dark and will be the background for our scene. Then we have two cylinders that will be the stand for our fanny bag. And lastly, there is a light in the form of this plane again. If we look closely to the materials that we used in here, we have a just really basic black for the plane. Then the cylinder has a sort of black, which is just a lighter black. And then the inner cylinder has a velvet black color, so it doesn't reflect any light. And lastly, our source of light is this plane with the emission material, so it just produces the light. And this is the render of our scene. We have two cylinders, then the dark black background and the light on the top. And then I modeled the funny bag. The main part of it are the body, the front cover, the stripe and the stripe holders. Oh, and we of course cannot forget the zip. For the body and the front cover, I use the mirror modifier. If I turn it off, you can see that there is only half of the body and the quarter of the front cover. And this is how it looks after rendering. I wanted each bag in the collection to have a unique look. So I wrote this little script that generates the unique textures. It generates these beautiful rectangular images that will serve as the texture for our 3D model. You can see the different color palettes here. So first we have the pastel colors, then there is this red and orange color, as well as the blue and pink, and at the end the lime and dark green slash gray. When it comes to generating an NFT collection, it is also important to define the rarity of certain items. So in the case of our fanny bags, the key metric to define the rarity lies in the number of splits and also the color palette. You can see more of the pastel colors and also less splits, which means that the different colors as this red and green or the blue and pink are more rare and that comes also with the number of splits. So the more you can see, the more rare the combination is. The script also generates a file with metadata, so we can see the number of texture, the name of its color palette, the number of splits, and also the material of the bag. The very last thing we have to figure out is how to generate the whole collection of those bags with different textures. The trick to render the bag with different textures that we generated is within this node in the middle. In this an image texture node. Let's add the textures that we generated. For demonstration, I will pick only five of them. So let's connect it to our material. So I will get rid of the old one and move the new one in the middle. Let's connect the color and the base and the vectors to a vector. Voila, you can see that the texture now is being repeated. So let's just change it to extent. And now let's switch to a timeline. The timeline is for animation purposes. So in here we have the frames of the animation and as we set that image texture to be a sequence it means that now when we move forward with our animation frame we should also see the change of our texture so that means that each of the frame corresponds to a unique texture so in order to render our fanny bag with different textures let's go to output properties and in the output section here, make sure that you choose the file format of PNG. You can also choose the folder where the whole sequence of image will be 
generated to and then make sure to set the maximum number of the images it should render so in our case it's number of the textures that we chose so if you generated let's say 30 textures you would put 30 in here let's go to render and render animation my dear creative hero friends let's have a look at the collection that we just generated I hope that you learned something new today. Let's do a punch five. If you are new to the community of Creative Heroes, then you are very welcome. It's great to, you know, meet new friends. If you have not, please hit the subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much for watching. Tang and Michael are out.